I'm going to do for us is the revenues. We have to vote on the estimated revenues. Prior to the deliberative session on Saturday. Now, going from the sheets that Christy has provided us. These are the 2017 estimated revenues, correct, Madam Chair? What? You're talking about the 2017. 2017 estimated revenues. And on page. Which eight, get adjusted in October, November of every year, and that adjustment is what affects the taxes. But that the has taxes, no effect at all on yes, taxes. Yes, it does. No, no it, doesn't. it is, will have effect on taxes next fall. No. This is, yes. The Board of Selectmen slash Town Manager sends in an adjusted, along with every governing body in the state, sends an adjusted estimated tax in October, November time frame. It is that adjustment that is used to set the taxes. There, yes, but not for the next year. Yeah, the right. next year is you go by what the... Uh, they set the tax rate in October. Right, the next year. That's After it. they receive the revised revenue estimate. No, there's no revised revenue estimate. Once they set the taxes, the, the next revenue estimate is for the next year. Oh, next year, right. This is 2017 revenue, which we need to approve. How before. can we approve 2017 revenue? I don't it's get estimated that. revenue, just like the estimated budget. It's a requirement. You already guys, as you both select one, have already done this. Uh, and it's just kind of an exercise that goes back in ancient times that we still keep doing. The bottom line is, Mary Louise is saying something that I have not heard before in my four years on this board. Okay, can I? Right? The I fact have, is, you guys, every October and November do an uh, right. revised estimated revenue. It is that revision that is used to set taxes. Right. This number has no meaning at all in terms of taxes. It is nothing more than like a, you know, like your appendix. You can take it out or leave it in. It doesn't matter. No one, it doesn't all matter right. at all. I would like to, the town council has put together a memorandum that has concerns from the Board of Selectmen. Now, we're always talking about communication and how you want us to know exactly where we're coming from. This is relevant to the estimated This is relevant to the meeting tonight. No, to the re revenue the estimate. Right revenue. Now. Revenue. Well, I don't understand why we're talking about revenues right because, now. Because we but as a technical pro forma matter, we do need to approve the, right. these estimates, but they don't really have any meaning, and that was we're the only point I was making. Let's just vote on it and move on. Right. Okay. So do we I need a motion? I still move the whatever the number this, is. This is right on test. page 8 of 10 of the MS 737 that you all should have in your hands. It was attached. Uh, Rusty brought in the pages. It's estimated revenues for 2017 are 13,017395. And that matches the selectmen's estimated revenues column. And then it shows actual revenues prior year, which is now irrelevant. That's been handled. So I will accept. So moved. A what, second. Barbara? Second? You seconded mine? No. No, uh, Steve seconded. Okay, so Mr. I Jones. A, I have a small problem with this. Yes. I did not jump from seven or eight, eight million up to 13 million. I, I have no idea. Well, I don't that's do the why figures. we need to have this discussed when there's people here who can answer the question. But I refuse to vote on this under these circumstances because we should be have more information. Some of the may should be here to answer the question. This is the form. I understand that's the form. I also have the pages in the budget <coughs> that no, do not reflect the 13 million you're talking about. So I'm a but little that, confused. The figures in the budget book are passe at the moment. I am assuming, I have to assume that the finance director went over her records and when she prepared the MS 737 she used her current figures. Mr. Pierce. Not debating Mr. Pierce, I just want to Pierce. understand what you just said. Yeah. You just said, if I understand it right, mm -hmm. the number that Mary Louise Chair just cited, mm -hmm. is it variance with the number that was in the budget book given to us? Is that correct? That's correct. And it has it has the correct number for what it is for uh, <clears throat> 16, but when it goes to 17, which is estimated, of course, like all this stuff is, it only moves up, it, it, it moves up about $4,000 from the budget amount for... What's the number six, in the budget book for 2015? Uh, six, six, 68.71741. Six, what's the date on that sheet, Michael? There should be a date in the upper right-hand corner 
for Michael, I was asking you what the budget book said that we gave we were given in November for estimated revenue. I don't have my budget book with me tonight. I didn't think we'd need it. Well, this isn't even on the agenda. Well, it, the estimated I, I know, I, know I forgot. It has agenda. To get it. Well, I typed the agenda out a little ahead it's of time. It's printed 11 4 16. Yes. So what's the what's the estimated revenue that was printed on 11 4 for 17 for for the year 2017? Okay, six million eight seventy one seven forty one. So it's that number versus the one the chair decided, which is 13 million. It's over double that. Yes. Thank you. That's my question. That's why I just wanted I, to get clarity on that. I was talking to somebody about this today, and I said, "What in the hell are we doing here?" And that's the question. What in the hell is going on? because we never have had this kind of a jump, number one, and number two, it's way out of sight if you look at the last couple of years. 13 million is nearly twice as much as Mr. Jones said, so I'm confused about not only the numbers, and it'd be nice to have somebody here answer the questions, because it makes it difficult for a budget committee member to answer the questions, especially in light of that jumping up so much. Plus, if you look at 2016, the estimated number was in the beginning was somewhere in the neighborhood of uh, uh, I forget exactly what it was was six million some chain okay and when they talk when they changed it to uh, they go to give the reports to the state it was six million seven ninety nine thirty four so it's and then it ended up being uh, almost a million over that uh, and that's very confusing no, I mean, when they set the tax rate, I'm sorry, I quoted the wrong number, 6612533 when the revenues were actually turned over to the state for the tax rate. Right. So I'm confused as to why we're getting this $13 million for 17 right now because that is twice as much money and we have no explanation as to why it's there. Right. Yes. What you're pointing out is a glaring inaccuracy or inconsistency, prefer between what we were given in our budget book in November and what we subsequently received. Mm -hmm. Yet another one. Mm -hmm. Unlike the other ones, this has no meaning, though, because that number, whatever it is, it could be $2 billion. It still is not going to be used to affect the tax rate. I have no problem with that, Mr. Jones. So given that it's a basically an irrelevancy as in terms of it is inaccurate, I agree, right? or certainly it varies. But it doesn't have any meaning. It's, it's a, it's a difference without a distinction. Well, if okay. it's if it's errors on the high side, which it appears to be right now, that would make the budget revenues that uh, that we uh, expect to have this next year possibly lower than what we actually higher than what we actually have. We are anticipating 13 that, million the number, in revenue. The number is not used for anything. I know that. I appreciate that, Mr. Jones, but the numbers are printed on this piece of paper given to the Budget Committee. Therefore, it should have some basis for being there. I agree with your general Other than just principle. The paper I agree with your general principle. I'm just trying to move forward. Yeah. And, and We're not going to get any answers on it yeah. tonight, so I don't okay. see the point. Well, I can't see any point in having session. a meeting where we're going to approve something when we have no idea what we're approving. Well, that's we my have problem. With a it. figure here from the finance director. Mm -hmm. In print, mm -hmm. on page 8 of 10. Now, if I recall, the figure you're referring to in your book mm -hmm. would have been a figure generated in November, mm -hmm. but I believe that we generally get a substantial amount from the state. Do we not, Rusty, in December? I don't think the figures that you have in that book accommodate the end-of-year figures. If I may, Madam Chairman, because I have the, the update of the financials from January 20th from the Christie that says... Seven million nine seventy five five ninety five, which are the revenues for this last year, which was inconsistent with what we have on a lot of things. So I'm really confused about why you're going down the avenue of saying that the thirteen million is okay because I don't see any justification for that at all. But that first pass for the end of December. I mean, Christy explained that in the meeting two weeks yes. ago. That is just very preliminary. She's well, still working on right now. But the figure here the that she said that you submitted to the state should be the most accurate figure to date, unless she did something today. But this is all we have to go on. What's the date of this document? 
Well, it's after our public hearing because we all signed. Remember, we all signed the MS 737. I understand. So this that is part. appended to the 737. I understand. So that. as of our public hearing, and as of the end of the year, this is the fig these are the figures we've got. I understand, and you understand, they can change. But we need to go to the deliberative session, having approved an estimated, estimated revenue for 2017. So trying once again, if I may have a motion to go to the deliberative session in the amount showing on page 8 of 10 of your paperwork that you just got tonight, 13,017,395. Madam Chair. Yes, sir. I understand your statement to be that we must vote on this for it to go to the delivery session. Yes. Wouldn't that statement also apply that we must do that in order to go to the public hearing? I, it, we do, and I, the public hearing was kind of a mush. Well, when we did the public hearing, we had the numbers we in the budget book. But we didn't, we didn't vote have on. this. We no, never voted we didn't on. vote on that. Right. So but we didn't have this anyway. So that, that brings the entire veracity of the budget, of the, of the budget committee's public hearing into question. One could argue that. Or you could argue that we didn't really need to have a vote on that for the public hearing, in which case whatever argument you're going to use for that would also apply to the delivery session. Well, I think just to save everybody a pile of trouble, if we just authorize the estimated figure that finance has provided to us, it's certainly not going to hurt anything. Could you take, may, just somebody make a motion and a second? I move. Henderson seconded. Okay. So why don't we take a vote? We'll okay. get it out of the way. You're moving the thirteen million oh one seven three nine five? No, it's already moved, was it by somebody else? I I moved it. Henderson seconded. Henderson seconded. Right. Okay. We're discussed out. All right. In I'm favor? Not about it. One, two, three, four, five. Opposed? One. Two. Abstaining? This, Two. This form here yeah. doesn't match that one. What form uh -huh. doesn't match what? Well, Gina, that doesn't say great that we actually million. got together on a vote. I know. That was well, this, is the new, this is the newest one that we yeah. just got today. First time for everything. I don't think it was the first, but it was, <laughs> it's not it was a exciting. special warm, it was a warm special feeling. Well, I didn't even know we were going to be well, talking about this. Well, I'm sure she's still updating this. Yes, my dear? She is. Can I have the nose, please, Mr. Pluff and Mr. Pierce? And Barnes and Jones, Jones, Jones and yeah. Ms. Barnes? Yes. Tell Christy to stop estimating. 